Welcome to the Sidra Intersection tutorial series. In this video, we'll show you how to use the Root Configuration Dialog. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. Now let's begin. For this demonstration, we'll be using a project with networks already configured. A root is defined as a series of movements from site to site in a selected direction within a network. Up to 20 routes can be specified per network. You can define routes under the Root tab using the Add, Reverse, Clone, and Import functions. To add a new route, under the Network tab, select the network you wish to use. Click the Root tab, then click the Add button in the Root Setup group in the ribbon. This will open the Root Configuration dialog. The dialog displays the selected network to define the desired route as a series of movements in one direction of travel from site to site. Only one direction of travel is allowed per route, and a route must include at least two movements that belong to two separate sites. Click the highlighted approach bar of a start leg to define the route origin. The color will turn dark green. To select the movement on the route, click the highlighted exit bar of the desired downstream leg, or click the arrow connecting the two sites. Dark green arrows representing the movements that define the route will be displayed. Connection bars of the approaches on the route will also be highlighted in dark green. Legs of all downstream sites connected to the current site will be highlighted for selection as possible destinations. Repeat the process till the desired route destination is reached. The sites and movements on the specified route will be displayed in the left pane of the dialog under the section named Movements on Route. You can rename the route in the Route Configuration dialog by clicking the route name in the Routes section or in the Route Data Input dialog. The dialog buttons function the same way as in all input dialogs. OK means accept the changes and close the dialog. If you do not wish to save this configuration, click Cancel or press Escape. Use Apply only to accept the current configuration while keeping the dialog open. There is no need to click Apply immediately before clicking OK. Click OK to accept the changes and close the dialog. You will notice that the list of sites used on this route is added to the Sites on Route section in the Project pane. When the network has been processed, the route output reports and displays, and the site output reports and displays for all sites on the route will be available as soon as a route has been created. If the network has not been processed, the Site Output for Route section will contain only the Diagnostic Report and the Route Output commands in the ribbon will be blocked. Click OK to close the dialog first, and then use the Process Network icon on the Quick Access toolbar to process the selected network and view the desired output reports and displays. A route can have closed loops. To remove a movement on the route, click the Delete symbol next to the movement in the Movements on Route list in the left pane. This will remove the selected movement and all the downstream movements. Then you can redefine the route if you wish. You can view the route layout picture in the display pane by clicking the Layout button in the ribbon or by double-clicking the route name in the Routes section. While only one direction of travel is allowed per route, the reverse function is provided for the program to add a reverse route. After selecting a route, click the Reverse button in the Route Setup group in the ribbon. A new route in the reverse direction of travel of the original route will be added to the list on the left.
Rename the new root if you wish. The reverse function will check that the root is feasible to avoid wrong way conditions. The input dialogs for the new root are seen in the root input section. To edit the configuration of an existing root at a later stage, open the project. Click the Network tab. Select the network from the networks list on the left pane. And then select the root name in the roots section under the root tab and click Root Configuration in the root input section. To remove a root from the network, select the root name in the roots section and use the delete command in the ribbon, or right click the root name and select delete in the menu. Removing or disconnecting a site on the root in the network configuration dialog will also result in deletion of the root. Warning messages will be given in such cases. Remember to save your projects regularly, as the project file is not saved automatically after changes are made. This concludes our tutorial on the root configuration dialog in Sidra Intersection. Thank you for watching.